Hi everyone, my name is Caitlin from Sip and Dip Australia and today I'm going to be walking you through this virtual learn to paint class. So this video will obviously go a lot quicker than what it might take you to paint the piece but just feel free to pause wherever you need some extra time and just pick up when you're ready. Get started. So the first thing you actually want to do in this piece is start by mapping out where you want the top of your jellyfish to be. Don't do what I did and start your background first. So as you can see, you just want to do a dome shape and then curve the bottom of it. Then you can go ahead and start putting in your background. The first step for our background is just to fill in the top three quarters of your canvas with that light blue. So keep piling up that blue paint. If you do find that you've got some white areas that you're kind of struggling to cover up, just add a little bit of water to your paintbrush. Alrighty, so once you're happy with the coverage of your light blue, you're going to go ahead and start doing that last quarter on the bottom with your dark blue. For this, you want to start right at the bottom and then start making your way up towards where the bottom of your light blue is. Now doing some quick left to right motions back and forth, we're going to blend that dark blue up into the light blue. Again, if you're finding this isn't blending as nice as you would like it to, just add some water to your paintbrush. Once you're happy with that blend, we're going to wash off our brush and start with our jellyfish. We're going to start with the left side of our jellyfish first with yellow. Now we want to get heaps of paint on that brush and just building up some layers. There are a couple of brush techniques you can use for the top of your turtle. You can pick one or use both. One of those being short, thick brush strokes with lots of paint. And the other being what I'm doing here, which is just rolling the brush. Again, lots of paint. Once you are happy with your yellow, we're going to move on and do the exact same thing with our orange. You don't need to worry about blending these colours together too much just yet. And once you've finished that second quarter, we're going to go ahead and do red in our third quarter and then green for the last. Alrighty, so without adding any paint to your brush just yet, you're going to go back and do those same techniques that you've chosen and blend the two colours together. Now, while doing this step, you might find that you do want a little bit more of certain colours through it. Um, I know I do go back and add some more green into mine, so you are obviously welcome to do that. Once you are happy with that and have your colours blended together, we're going to take our white and just add in a couple of highlight points. So I always highlight the very left of the jellyfish head, so just along the edge of where our yellow starts. I also like to add a strip of white on the bottom part of the head of this jellyfish. Don't worry about that white too much because we are going to come back at the end and go over it. Now to make this jellyfish look a little bit more realistic and like it is floating in the water, we're just going to add the, what would be, the opposite side of our jellyfish. So you won't actually see this because the tentacles will come down over the top, but it will kind of create a little bit of a shadow so that your jellyfish looks more realistic. So I just start with a bit of a curved line and then fill it in and then you can make it a little bit bigger if you want. You also don't need to worry about filling this in super neat or putting lots of paint on this part either. Alright, so now we're going to get started with the tentacles. There really isn't any correct order to start with colour wise, so start with whichever colours you like. And then every two to three colours, we're going to break it up with a little bit of white each time. For the tentacles, we want to start where we've done that white line and then just dragging our paintbrush down. As you can see, I do some bigger swirls, some smaller swirls, just making my way through all of the colours, remembering to add some white swirls in every two, three colours that you do, and you'll start to see it come together. Thank you. 
Once we are finished with our tentacles, we're going to go back and fix up that white. And then we are going to add some bubbles. Now, when we look at bubbles in real life, obviously they're not just big white circles. So it is perfectly fine if some of your other colors run through that white. It actually is better. Also, don't forget to make your bubbles all different sizes. Now that you've got those bubbles in, it's time for my favorite part. You want to get some white on that paintbrush and splatter it all over your painting. You can do that by flicking your paintbrush, how you can see I'm doing here. Or if you're brave enough or you don't really mind about getting splatters everywhere, you can literally just flick your brush towards your canvas. I personally feel like these flicks of white paint really make this piece. So now we've got just a couple of finishing touches and then you're done. Grabbing a little bit of white on your brush, we're just going to make this kind of sun flare effect coming down from your top left corner. We're just going to use some back and forth motions, blending it into our blue. Don't forget, if you're struggling to blend this, add a little bit of water to your paintbrush. And for the final step, we're going to add a little bit of colour into those bubbles. I've gone with pink to blend in. I've just chosen one side of each bubble and blended it in maybe a quarter of the way across. And then you are done. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me for today's class. Don't forget to share your creations on our social media. We love seeing what your pieces look like. See you guys next time. Bye.